Hi, welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Srikan. In this series of videos, I was talking about HANA database object developments in Web IDE for HANA. In my previous videos, I was using HANA Express Edition as a software which is available on Google Cloud Platform to demonstrate all these examples on Web IDE for HANA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Web IDE for HANA or Web IDE full stack in Cloud Platform, SAP Cloud Platform. And this cloud platform is available for everyone at free of cost. And it's very easy to set up on your personal computer. Let's see how do we configure that. Go to open a browser and then type in developer.sap.com. And then I choose SAP Cloud Platform and then get started. Go to navigate to the bottom of the page and then try it now. I'm in the logon page here. I'll be entering my credentials. If you haven't had an account already, you can set up a new account. It's easy. It could be either your SA user ID or P user ID. Both should work fine. Now I log down to Cloud Platform Cockpit and in the home, I'm in the home page of the portal. You can see Neo Trial and Cloud Foundry Trial. I'm going to click on the Neo Trial. You can see that my trial account has already been set up. So I go to Database and Schemas and then I can create a new database setup here. Since I already done my setup in this account, so I'm not going to do that. If you haven't had any setup already done for creating the database, you can follow the document which is on Google. Type in SAP HANA free trial setup. So you get a document and open it and you, you got all the steps required to do your setup with shine content. Since, since I have set up my database already, I don't need to set up a new one. So I go open my HDB database. I can see all the credentials regarding my database, which was set up previously. So I can access my admin tools, development tools, and also Shine content from this page. Now I'm going to start my database. I'm going to click on the start button and then it's going to get started. Since my database instance is running, I will be able to access my database from Eclipse or HANA Studio or even I can access development workbench using web based tools. So I'm going to get a starter message here and then once it gets started, I will be able to connect to this database using a front-end client tool or a web workbench tools. Since my database has been started, I can go to Eclipse and try to access here by providing the credentials. I already did so, so it's automatically connecting to my system. I can also connect to this com this database using web development tool, which is web-based development workbench. If you're confused about different object development tools like HANA Studio, Web ID for HANA, or Web Workbench, and etc., I will suggest you to navigate to the documentation in one of my other blogs, which is you can type in. HANA Studio Web IDE Srikanth. So in this blog, I was able to explain uh, different client tools, what are the use cases for those tools and how they are positions in SAP HANA Roadmap. So you'll get a good understanding of how the roadmap is going to be for the future case of SAP HANA client development tools. Since my setup is already done and it's up and running, now I'm going to show you how to configure Web IDE for HANA in the cloud platform. 
So for that, I'm going into my cloud platform and then go to the home page. And now I'm going to click on Cloud Foundry trial. You can see that now um, the system start creating the global account, sub account and the organization and space automatically for your Cloud Foundry trial account. As soon as you see all the uh, all the account details created, then you can click on go to space. So that's it, that's the one simple step. You configure the Cloud Foundry account with your trial version, trial license. Since my Cloud Foundry setup has been completed, now I can go to a Web IDE full stack and enable my Web IDE for HANA development tool now. Now, go, now I'm going to access Neo trial again and go to my services, which I can find from this space. Then I look for Web ID for HANA or Web ID full stack and I'm going to access this one now. I'm going to click on go to service. It's going to open Web ID for HANA for me now. Go to the workspace. You can see my workspace is empty. I can start building my uh, project and my database objects in this space. Now I'm going to, before I start working on the workspace, I have to configure my Cloud Foundry account and also uh, HANA database objects preferences enabled in my preferences. So in order to do that, I'm going to access my preferences here. Then first one is my Cloud Foundry. I'm going to access my endpoint, which is going to be the Europe one. I'm going to provide my email ID. And then I got organization and space which I have created in my uh, Cloud Foundry account setup automatically here. And I'm going to start installing my build. Uh, now my build is completed. I'm going to enable another setting, which is going to be a feature actually. Now it's going to be HANA database development tools. I'm going to enable my tools for HANA database development and also database explorer to work on SQL. I'm going to save it and then it requires a refresh on my web ID for HANA. Since I've done all my settings and uh, preferences set up, now I'm uh, everything good to start with the developments. Now to go start with my developments, I'm going to access my uh, workspace. I'm going to create a project, just a project from template. My project is going to be a, with a template my MTA multi-target application. I'm going to choose next. I'm going to name this na uh, template as SAP Cloud then say next. I'm going to describe the same thing. I'm going to finish this one. Now I got my project created. I'm going to start building a database module in this project. All the navigations which I'm explaining here are already explained or discussed in my previous Web ID for HANA trainings which are using HANA Express Edition. The difference between the previous videos and this one is, is that I'm currently doing an SAP Cloud platform versus the previous ones are on the Google Cloud platform. Since I've done my project setting here, I'm going to start building a database module. For that, I'm going to use HANA database module. I'm going to name this as um, HDB. Web ID. And I'm going to choose my schema to be as my name. And then I can 
I can start. I'm going to do the build after. Since I've done my project and also uh, HANA database model creation, before I start building it, I have to set, I have to uh, configure my parameters in my project settings, the cloud foundry parameters to use the the parameters which we defined in the in the previous the previous time. So I'm going to save this one, and my project is being configured to have this uh, organization and space enabled so that I can start building my objects. I'm going to click on the source and then start building my file. And now my build completed successfully. I'm going to create several database objects here. I can start creating a, a CDS view or actually a CDS table, CDS document. I'm going to choose new HDB CDS artifact and then going to start creating a CDS. I'm going to choose an entity which is going to be um, a table that's going to be for my customer and I'm going to configure the fields for this. I'm going to configure the fields for this one. So it's going to be a couple of fields for this example. I'm going to select this as a key. I'm also going to have another entity here. It's just going to be address. I'm going to add a couple of fields here. I'm going to enable the key to this one. Since my CDS document is ready, I'm going to save this and I'm going to build this one. This build is completed successfully. I can see my object in the database explorer. Now I can see my HDA container in the database explorer. I'm going to choose the one which is a, created for this uh, Cloud Foundry endpoint. I'm going to name this as SDB to be displayed. Um, and that's it, I can see my um, database in the Database Explorer. I can see my tables here. So these are the two tables. Since I have no data in these two tables, I'm going to insert some data in there. I'm going to insert the data using SQL window. I mean SQL. I have prepared the insert statements already on another notepad file. I'm going to use this into here. I'm going to run this one now. Uh, now inserted few records into this one. I'm going to go into my development workspace and start building a CD, uh, calculation view to access those two tables with data. So I'm going to choose new calculation view. I'm going to name it as um, cloud, SAP cloud CV. That's going to be a, a dimension type and just standard. Got my calculation view here. I'm going to access um, a projection another projection this is going to be to access my customer table similarly i'm going to create another projection for the address table and then i'm going to join customer and address table together uh, to complete my calculation view creation. Since I've shown you uh, the calculation creation in my other videos, I'm going to forward this creation and then uh, getting into the next stage. 
since I've, now I've built the calculation view to join the two tables and then project to the output. So I'm going to get the information from those two tables and then display it in here. The, now I save the object, I'm going to activate this one now. I select the file and then build selected files. That's going to get activated. Activation completed. Uh, I'm going to run the data preview. Now you can see that the data from two tables joined, to, joined and then I was able to see my re required data in a one as an output of my calculation view. So that's about the using Web IDE for HANA in SAP Cloud Platform and building uh, native objects and then deploying into the database using um, HDI container. I hope it is helpful and thanks for watching it. If you have any questions on this topic, you can reach me out on my LinkedIn or Twitter or can you send an email to this email ID. Thanks for watching again. Bye.